I have a a very good understanding of what happened last time, and I'm everybody's gonna have a better understanding of what's gonna happen on Saturday night after the fight. I think that the most important thing though is that I am in a good spot. I am in a great place because I know how much work I've done and how much I've put into this. And the biggest factor I think is that I'm not content with the fact that I won back then seven months ago in December. It's not something that I wanna rest on. It's not something that I wanna continue to say every single day or, or for people to just only know me for that one thing. I wanna talk about present and presently I am going in the biggest fight of my life, just like you said, and I have a job to do. And on Saturday night, everyone is going to see me go do that job. What do you expect Amanda Nunes to do differently this time around? Um, I, I think that she's, she said in the countdown that she didn't hit me with, you know, the best shots and that she didn't hit me with everything that she had. And so I would assume that she's going to try to hit me with everything that she had. Um, she said last time that she was going to absolutely finish me and that she was going to win this fight. And she's saying the same thing now that she's going to finish me and that this fight is, is not going to a decision and that she's, she's going to beat me up. And so I just think that I am ready for the biggest, strongest, scariest Amanda Nunes that we've ever seen you know back in December um, when she lost she had a hundred list of reasons why she lost that fight and so now that she's at a hundred percent and now that I'm fighting at my a game as well I think that we're going to see a little bit of a different fight but both of us are going to be coming um, with explosive power we're the two best fighters in the world and uh, it's going to be a, a quite a show for for the viewers yeah I, I can't personally wait I know the uh, MMA fans across the world can't wait uh, you know, last time you said that you didn't think that she was taking you seriously. Do you think she's taking you seriously this time around? She absolutely is. I, I definitely think that above all else, um, the way that Amanda feels about me is with uh, the utmost respect when it comes to, to me as a, as a fighter and, and I for her as well. She's definitely uh, had this resume of, of being the greatest of all time and she has earned that and I absolutely respect her as a fighter and I think that what she's accomplished is, is incredible. I don't know um, anybody else in the division or in the sport that has been able to have the resume that Amanda has made and so it's, it's definitely uh, worthy of being called the greatest of all time um but now that i'm here i am also worthy of of being called uh, the goat slayer I'm, I'm glad you said that so if you were the slay to ghost twice and she is the greatest of all time what then does that make you um it makes me the goat slayer do you feel like you have a right then or do you feel like it's fair to put you in that conversation then um you know, I, I don't even know you need to say female, but if that's if that's what Amanda has been anointed, the greatest female mixed martial artist of all time, is it fair then to put you in that category if you do go in there Saturday and beat her, not not once, but for a second time? You know, the moral of the story for me is that I want to be recognized as one of the greatest in the sports and in sports history for women's MMA. Yeah. I want to cement my legacy by getting this win. And I want to be able to go down in the Hall of Fame and the UFC Hall of Fame. That's always been my goal is to be in the UFC Hall of Fame. And so if if beating Amanda Nunes gets me in the Hall of Fame, then you could definitely consider me one of the greatest female fighters of all time. Absolutely. When you envision how the thing, how the fight plays out, how do you see it going? Do you see yourself winning in one particular way? Is, is how do you, how does this fight unfold? You know, I, I can't, I am not Nostradamus. I don't know <laughs> if it's going to happen. I don't know in what round. I don't know if yeah. it's going to happen in the first. I don't know if it's going to happen in the fifth. I, I can't tell you exactly how it's going to go. I can tell you that I will be ready for anything and everything that comes my way. I will meet it head on and I will do anything and everything that I can to get this hand raised. Uh, I'm willing to die in there. And that's what I do know. I know you've said this before, you feel like you need to defend that belt and beat beat Amanda for a second time before you are really the, the queen of the division, before you are the best. Do you still feel like that? And, and, and then this fight has such significance then, right? Well, I am the queen of the division and I am the champion. However, I'm not content with uh, winning that in December. I, I want more. I want more for myself and I want to defend this belt because I think that, you know, once I get this chip off of my shoulder, once I get this fight and this chapter closed, that I'll finally be able to breathe. I don't feel like I've been able to breathe yet. And, and, and I will be able to breathe when I cement this legacy by getting this win on Saturday night. Well, look, you, you called your shot. You said it for years that you were going to fight Amanda and that you were going to beat her. And 
you did exactly that. Uh, before I let you go, Juliana, anything you'd want to say to Amanda Nunes before you all step in that octagon in a couple of days and, uh, and, and fight each other while the world watches? Um, the only thing that I want to say to her is Malone Lave, and uh, I will see you at the center of that monster logo.